and welcome to Inside Game Station. We're going to be keeping you guys updated on the latest gaming news, talking about some of the hottest games that are currently out and upcoming, and also answering some of your questions that you sent to us on Twitter. I'm Link from Head Office. I'm Aaron. And I'm Tom. So keep watching our videos and we're going to keep you guys updated. Um, it takes on from the original story, uh, if you guys have played Dead Space 1, yeah. Uh, you're playing as Isaac Clark again, you're stuck on Titan, which is a moon, and you're going to be going against those evil necromorphs again and trying to dismember their limbs. This and guy stuff. has no luck. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. He's, he seems to get trapped, you know. He's just going to work one day, ends up doing, doing a bit of maintenance, and then getting tapped by all these necromorphs. Well, you're killing these guys again. Um, you're going to be seeing some online uh, multiplayer, which is going to cool. be awesome. We've got some really cool modes there. Um, did you play the first one? I didn't, unfortunately. I actually missed out on that one. Uh, it is one of okay. my. It is on my to-do list. I have a to-do list like that long. <laughs> that I have to go back through. Yeah. <laughs> um, main reason I pick it up is because it doesn't have the first one. Didn't have multiplayer. Yeah. Right. Whereas the sequel has the multiplayer. It yes. only makes sense that I go back. Definitely play the first one. Understand what the hell is going on, <laughs> and then I'll dive into the sequel. Totally, I'm really looking forward to. If it. you do play, lights off. I've got, I've got the um, the sound <laughs> sound you, can, you can make it all the way through. I'll salute you. <laughs> it is one of the really scary yeah. games as well. Like the sound effects are amazing, yeah. especially play headphones. Um, oh. Yeah, because you, you can hear like um, when you're walking through the corridors, like people step around you, yeah. and they've they've given like the characters um, of, of the actual enemies like a lot more personality. I think because yeah. as a, as one part where you're walking through like a school and all these like kind of um, mutated babies come screeching running at you. Yeah, little, yeah, like <laughs> mutated babies. Ooh, it looks ooh. crazy. Sackboy's back, obviously. Brilliant, we love Sackboy. It wouldn't work with anyone else. Um, Stephen Fry's back, narrator, good times. Yes. Um, basically, He's returned from his first adventure, Sackboy, not Stephen Fry. Um, and as soon as he gets home, he's sucked away. <laughs> into another Sackboy dimension. just can't keep he, he out can't, of trouble. He can can't he? find any peace, which is a shame, because <laughs> he's just a bundle of it's yarn. A bit like the, the, the soft Jack Bauer, no way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's never ending, one day after another. So, um, yeah. Tell us about some of the features that we're going to yeah, see. Yeah, well, basically, and... um, everyone's played the single player. Uh, knows there's more below the surface, which is in the content creation. Right, okay, cool. Uh, you can create your own levels and distribute them online. But now, uh, they've added a whole new depth of features. You can create your own levels still, but you can create them in your own genre. So you can do oh, FPS, okay. racer, um, RPG if you want. If you're going to spend it. I mean, you do have to spend time with it to make it work, but yeah. it's fantastic when it really pays off. Yeah, and it is really, really in depth. Um, you're getting a whole, a whole lot more um, already out of the box. You've got 3.2 million created pieces of user content already to download. I was that from, from the, the first, first game? Yeah, ah. um, and luckily, so that's insane, isn't it? because of the new graphical updates, um, the graphics from the first levels you can download are also updated. That's it, amazing. it looks pristine. It looks that's really good. nice. So already out of the box, you've got a year's worth of game. If you want to create. You can create your own whole games. Okay. You can link levels together. So it's made like you've made your own little mini game. That sounds awesome. You can link the genres together. So you can have a racing level, then like, or have a bit of RPG. Until first person shoot. It's pretty good. It's cool. Yeah. I have to say, this is probably going to be one of my most anticipated games of the year. It is. Wow. Yeah. That means it's, a lot. <laughs> it's made by the guys who do Gears of War. So in terms of yeah, graphics, we know what it's going to look like. Yeah. It's going to look detailed, highly polished. It's going to look awesome. The difference is, is Gears of War is a third-person shooter with a dark, gritty theme. It's, it's kind of like Epic have kind of had the blind shot all this time while doing Gears <laughs> of War, and then someone's just gone, "Oh, it's so bright outside. <laughs> it's like a bright game for a change." <laughs> So it does look really, really good. I mean, it's also a first person, not a third person, so yeah. mixing it up again. Um, on top of that, all the guns in Bulletstorm have got an alternate fire mode. So, for example, the shotgun, as soon as you fire up the alternate fire mode, it basically fires out a super hot blast of air, Wicked. which basically 
melts. Yeah, yeah I saw that in front of you. Epic. I saw, I saw really one where it kind of it was like a grenade launcher or something. It shot kind of like a belt that, that wrapped around them and trapped them against a wall. Yeah, and then just blew. And they're like sitting there and they just explode. It's, it's awesome. It, it cool. looks really really interesting. Also, um, some sort of lasso. Yeah, yeah, the, the whip. The whip. About the I, whip. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's uh, it's like an electric whip, and you can basically whip scenery or enemies. Yeah. If you whip an enemy, you can then pull them back into yourself, and then you can either punt them away from you off a cliff, into a cactus, into an explosive <laughs> barrel, where whichever direction you can get them at. Yeah. Yeah. So my emphasis is sort of crack kills. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. Little Big Planet, it's all like about it. the creativity of, yeah. of, the, of the person playing. Just sounding really good to me, yeah. to be honest. The visuals look amazing as I well. See the so trailer. It's, it's not just that kind of really great gunplay. You've got the great visuals to kind of um, combine with that. And I think that's one of the really exciting things about it. Yeah. There is going to be multiplayer as well. I haven't awesome. had a go on the multiplayer. I have had a go on the single player, and it was absolutely amazing. Um, but I would imagine the multiplayer is going to follow the lines of team deathmatch, standard deathmatch, yeah. maybe capture the flag, stuff like that. Cool. I don't think it's been fully announced yet, so it's yeah. going to be a case of keep your eyes on our site, and as soon as we know, you'll know. www.gamestation.co.uk I missed out on the game station list. Okay. That's all from 1UPS.